Is already recording? You want me to start it over? No, nah, that's good. Don't start it over. Hey, what the fuck you expect a teenager to do? What the, you see what George Bush's daughter was doing? Oh. He was getting pictures, taking them past out at parties and shit. I'd rape the hell out of them hoes. They look good, too. The one of them did. They, they kind of look too much like George Bush, though. So I don't know. So that'd be kind of weird. Mm. Yeah, them Bush women, they some ugly ass. But you see Barbara Bush? Oh, God. Mm. God, that bitch looks like a mm. fucking... Alistair mm. Crowley's daughter. That's where the reptilian shit comes from, is from bitches like that. Mm -hmm. You look at that, you think reptilians are real. For real. Her and the Queen of England, that ugly ass bitch. That bitch looks scary. Ugly. It looks yeah, scary. Yeah. Yeah. Just she terrifying. was never pretty, even young, was she? No, she looked terrifying. Mm -hmm. She looked like the type of lady that liked to torture animals and children. Eating children. Eating children. Eating children. E eating children. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's up? How are you? What's so funny? Good. You think you're cute or something? <laughs> That, that look, boy. Nappy headed hoe. She gave us that look of fucking hoe. Oh, okay. Hey, go ahead. You can start reading. That was Sideshow uh, Bob's daughter. I'm going to put this stuff out. Y'all just bring the script to that. This is about He was like, give people on camera, it's zoom in on their face. Like, people Jeez. want to. You got to put. They always do. Put that. Oh, she said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna laugh, I'm gonna laugh. Maybe she thought we were Yeah, that was it. Maybe she, maybe she wanted some. Maybe we need some new fucking signs. Tired of these old ass crusty signs. Yeah. Yeah. data science for that diseases did you hear about the new study that came out on the diseases I might have to say I got to say it my time yeah yeah it's a big time story yeah and, 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 and I like how I mentioned um, homosexuals it's a big carrier it's a majority carrier of syphilis and some shit like that yeah. I'll give it a bit Yeah, there's fucking faggots everywhere out here spreading diseases. These bitches too. All these whores that are like disease carrying vectors. Yep, I gotta say. Do you? Yep. Right, let's bring it out. There we go. That's why you see them condoms everywhere. Cause these motherfucking devils know condoms are very ineffective. Oh, he's just at the store getting coffee. They had a gigantic section as soon as you walked in, condoms. But what does that say? You gotta have the condoms right there as soon as you walk in. These people, that's all these people are engaged in. And why, why, why do you wear a condom? If everything's so safe and clean out here. Because there are people are afraid. They know it's dangerous. They know their activities are dangerous. Well, you got all these homosexuals out here going up inside of each other's anus, getting doo-doo, feces all over themselves. Because, you know, I thought we was in an age of science and reason, right? Right? You know science and reason. Well, you know all about factual information. So I was just curious, what is so scientific about um, a male human being uh, injecting semen into fecal matter. Does anything grow out of that? When you... <laughs> I'm still trying to figure that one out. Because they always... Remember, the, the same faggots and everything, they'll tell us that the Bible's old and we're in the age of science, right? But if everything's about science, how come you got dudes fucking dudes? What's so scientific about that? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get around. How can another man 
look at another man and find him attractive, but fuck him in the first place. And then you, you know, then be smelling like shit and getting shit all over each other. That's not, I don't even do that with a woman. That's nasty. Going up in a woman's butthole. So you got some of these dudes, they like to lick the asshole. You got bitches lick each other's asshole. This is grossing me out. I'm sorry, sorry man. It's called tushy sorry. I really shouldn't talk like that, but I'm just. It's called tushy lovers. Yeah. They eat each other's ass out. I mean, it's just a new way they doing it, you know? I mean, don't be surprised you hear about some other freaky shit coming out, folks. I mean, that, that shit, that, that booty hole licking, man, they eating it like it's pussy. Eating it like it's pussy. Yep. It's gross. That is gross. It should gross you out, actually. But some do, I mean, that turns some people on. Yep. I'm going to read this. This is, a, this is a CDC report. The, oh, this is from the Center of Disease and Control. All right, so this is not us making shit up. <laughs> U.S. Um, U.S. sexual United States sexually transmitted disease epidemic epidemic worsening. 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 Um, a U.S. sexually transmitted diseases epidemic is increasing, and the most common infection in chlamydia has risen to record levels. Government officials said. A clap. That's what chlamydia is. Report reported cases of chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis all increased in 2014. Chlamydia cases have dipped in 13, but last year's total of more than 104 million, or how much you say? 104 million. 104 million. Now they estimate that the population of America is around what 340 million, give or take. A million, you know, whatever. About 340 million, I think. What does this sign say? Oh, that, that's an old number. It's about 340 million. We're somewhere around there. We don't quite know, but you know. So this is almost half the population is infected with fucking chlamydia. Or is that, does that say chlamydia? You no, know, all of them. Oh, that's all of them combined. Chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis all increased in 2014. <laughs> That's bugged out, man. Okay, and it goes, or 456 cases per 100,000 people was the highest number of annual cases of any condition ever reported <laughs> to the Federal Center of, for Disease Control and Prevention. So that's just the ones that reported. There's a lot of nasty motherfuckers out here that they'll never go get checked. You know, they'll just let it keep festering. Hey, check it out. I grew up this motherfucker, man, and he told me I had got a real for six months, man. I was like, don't you know there's free clinic? He's like, for real? <laughs> he didn't even know, man. He just spreading it just the whole going time. around fucking, yeah. Um, where was I at? Sexually transmitted diseases are among more than 70 diseases that are reported to the CDC. So something come out that thing and give me now. I'll chase that fucking car as far as I can. I was ready to run up on him. The Lord will give you strength, you'll be able to tip the car over. Right. <laughs> America's worsening STD epidemic is clear, is a clear call for better diagnosis, treatment, and prevention, said the CDC Dr. Jonathan uh, Mormon. Wait a minute. Is a clear call for better diagnosis, treatment, and prevention? How the fucking people out here fucking everybody? How are you gonna prevent that the diseases from fucking spreading? See, there it goes. See, that's the devil for you. It, instead of fixing a problem, which is teaching people common sense shit like uh, don't commit adultery, mm -hmm. don't be a faggot. No, they'll say keep, be, keep, keep uh, being an adulterer, keep being a faggot, and we'll somehow come up with some new miraculous medicine. <laughs> Or, you know, that's what they're working on, though. Yeah, that's what they're working yeah, on. That's what they're working on. They, they, the last thing under their mind is to stop being a faggot. Yeah. Or to stop committing adultery. That's not That's not even part of their equation at all. That couldn't possibly fix the problem. That's right. And these fucking doctors are part of the fucking main problem anyway because they're gatekeepers of what's being pushed out. And they're all homosexuals themselves. You're damn right. You're damn right. Because the same doctors is looking for the cure. Why do you think he wants to cure so bad? Because he's got some shit. He's damn sick. Yeah, you know what I mean? So he's really invest heavily invested in this, man. Oh, I like that one. 
I don't know, maybe not. Maybe. Uh, that's a nice little sexual thing. Maybe. That's something to play with. That's something to play with. Man, she's probably obedient. Because you really yeah, want an right. obedient woman. Right. You don't want one of these nappy headed hoes out here, man. Right, we're talking Bit shit. Yapping all the time. What chlamydia? <laughs> I bet I bet you she didn't have chlamydia. A kind of real. Right, probably never had sex. Yeah, probably. Yep. And that's a heathen. A heathen. Gonorrhea cases total 350,062, up 5% from 2014. What? 13. And the most contagious forms of syphilis jump. The, wait a minute. And the most contagious forms of syphilis jumped 15%. That's bugged, that's bugged out, man. I'm sorry. That's bugged the fuck out. <laughs> As in previous years, the syphilis increase was mainly in gay and bisexual men. Oh, imagine that. Imagine <laughs> faggots. What a surprise. <laughs> imagine faggots getting diseases. But that's the center of disease of control. So I guess the center, the CDC are homophobes. And they should all be fired for being racist because they're also a racist. Mm -hmm. If you hate homosexuals, that means you're a racist. Yeah, yeah. So they should all be fired for being racist, homophobes. You know what's funny though? Because these people that work for the CDC is in the system. They're part yeah. of this problem itself. They are. They're homosexuals and faggots, yep. lesbians. That's, what, that's why they won't get to the root of the problem. That's right, that's right. Most gonorrhea and chlamydia infections were in 15 to 24 year olds. An ongoing trend. Both can cause infertility in women, but can be treated with antibiotics. They are oh, antibiotics. You hear that? Yeah, I, they all they keep telling you that antibiotics don't even work no more. That's why they have all these superbugs developing in the hospitals because they're, they're they're pumping so many people full of antibiotics in these hospitals because the hospital is the, a nest of diseases and viruses. That's the unsafe place to be is in a hospital. But you got super bugs forming in those hospitals. Now, Jeremiah. Is it six? I think it's in the middle. Five, six. That's great. They just, they're promiscuous as fuck, man. And they don't have, they don't have, they don't carry that guilt. Maybe a little, but they don't carry that guilt of, man, I got a husband at home. But now they, the they teaching that shit in school now. Mm -hmm. yeah, Tell right. little children, children. children. You gotta children. accept homosexuals. They got transgender bathrooms. Is that it? Neutral it's gender bath. Uh, okay. Okay. They got gender neutral bathrooms in schools now. They they got uh, uh, transsexual prom kings and queens now. Yeah, I saw that too. Yep. Yep. As, um, what was that? It was a university that had a transsexual. It was a university and a high school that had a transsexual uh, um, uh, queen. And, <laughs> queen. But what wrong would we speak out against it? <laughs> right, right. But it was a guy, actually, it was a, a small college in Ohio. The facts speak for themselves, though. Mm -hmm. That's right, that's right. I mean, when you see that the homosexuals have a higher rate of STDs than everyone else, Is that should let you know that it's wrong to be a faggot. Thank you. Is this not the CDC report? The government, who they officially want to listen to? Other, yeah, other yeah, they listen to the government for everything else, don't there they? There you go, there you go. They put them license plates on their cars, and they get their license and papers and right. child support. <laughs> mm -hmm. But they saw that when they were scrolling the internet, they saw that CDC report, but they didn't click on it. No, nah, they didn't click on that, that one. Yeah, they, they went got, right over They got scared. Yeah. Useless, that's useless information to a, a, a unwise person. Now, I bet you they clicked on that video. They clicked on that video of uh, uh, Aaron Rodgers saying fuck when he dropped the football. Oh, well, I didn't even see that one. Oh, that was the hottest video on YouTube. <laughs> I didn't even see yeah. it. Are no. you serious? Though? Front page of YouTube was a, a 12 second Aaron Rodgers video of him <laughs> saying fuck. Like, I can't believe somebody said the word fuck. I bet it got thousands and thousands no, of got views. Millions. It got millions on millions. Universe. I'm not surprised. I'm it's not like, surprised. They was amazed that somebody said fuck. You said fuck. Oh my. I mean, that's that's news right there. That's Freak. just like South Park when uh, they made a big deal out of a uh, show was starting. They was going to say fuck one time. Was, well, shit. They was going to oh, say yeah. shit one time. That's like the top news story. Forget about the news where Vladimir Putin <laughs> right, said that right, right. the United States was funding ISIS. Don't worry about that. Aaron Rodgers said fuck. Turkey shot down a plane. Yeah, Turkey fuck. shot down a plane. Nope. Aaron Rodgers said fuck. Hey, Russia right now is brewing up some shit. 
they're not going to just sit back uh, and allow that plane. Uh, you know, that's an investment of Russia. Yeah, yeah. You know, they don't they don't allow shit to just. But right now they got their special ops doing some shit. They didn't just shoot down the plane. They shot down the plane. The pilot ejected and on his way down, they shot his ass on the, mm -hmm. on the in a parachute. Right, what kind here. of faggot shit is that? You shoot a man that is helpless parachute. Mm -hmm. And then they posted the video. And, and NATO has the, I mean, Turkey is a member of NATO, which means they had the full support of the United States. That's right. That means the United States gave them permission to do, this, to do that. Well, I mean, the United States, the uh, F-16, I think it was. I'm not sure what it was. Yeah, well, yeah, they got the old planes on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the yeah, F-16. Yeah, yeah. Hand me downs. Yeah. Which is still effective shit. You but know, it's actually probably better than that new shit they got. They the far F better. Yeah, because they say that Russian, that old Russian. Well, they still use the shit. They still use B-52 bombers. They're right. That's what I was about to say too. Yeah, because yeah, that's the most effective weapon of them all. Yeah. I, uh, they updated the electronics in them, but they still using the fucking plane itself. Yep. Because that old shit is better anyway. Propeller. Propeller. Yeah. Yep. And that flies for hours and yeah. hours and hours. B-52 bomber <laughs> is a beast. That's a bad motherfucker. You, bad you can't you can't use it against Russia, but they can use it against every other country. They, all them other countries, them third world countries, they help us against a B-52 bomber. They can't do nothing about it. They way up there, man. <laughs> they just drop, and they can carry a lot of bombs. Yep. Cruise missiles. They try to fly that motherfucker over Russian skies. Shot down. They shot down with the quickness. They won't stand a chance. <laughs> yeah. my, uh, we might as well get the fag inscription while we're at it, because you can never read this enough. Because there's a reason why the scriptures Say you're not supposed to have sex with another man. Oh, that Jeremiah three. Oh, you, you find it? Was that three? Yeah, bring that bring that up first. Yeah, but then I'll get this one. And this is in reference to the fucking trifling ass women. You know? Yeah, because these women they just as bad as the, the homosexuals. Because they're sodomites too. They're all classified as sodomites. You know what I mean? Because sodomy is just not that act of homosexuality. That's that. A, a sodomite is just a filthy, uh, filthy, vile heathen, you know what I mean? They do all kind of lewd, sexual, nasty shit. You do everything imaginable and unimaginable. Stuff that you never even thought was possible, they do it. Jeremiah 3 and 1. They say, if a man put away his wife, and she go from him and become another man, she sh shall he return to her again? Shall not the land be greatly polluted? Yeah, because once a woman has had sex with another man that's not her husband, her she been polluted. Yeah, she been greatly polluted. You know what I mean? I mean, another man going in there and jizzing up. That's just nasty, man. You smell it. And you ain't supposed to take that woman back after that, really. Yeah. I mean, I guess you might be able to forgive a hoe here and there, but... Really, who would want to take you back after that? As I said, the, the greatest act of betrayal. And really, that's actually talking about Israel in that scripture. Exactly. That scripture is really talking about Israel because Israel is likened unto a whorish, adulterous woman. We, we committed adultery against the Most High for breaking all these laws. And one of those laws is adultery. Because Israel is likened unto a, a, a woman. And whatever, that's why the scriptures call us the bride. And we, the most high is the husbandman. He's the husband. Go ahead. But thou, but thou hast played the harlot with many lovers. Yet return, uh, return again to me, saith Yahweh. <laughs> yeah, so that's why we out here telling people to return unto the most high. Stop being a fucking faggot. Stop being a fucking adulterer. So stop being a piece of shit. I got well, You know, it's uh, it's the way, man. It's how they. It's, it's been encouraged. You know, just like it was prophesied. This is Genesis 11 and 6, and the Lord said, "Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language. And this they begin to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do." Oh yeah, nothing you know? will be restrained. 
nothing. And that's going actually to the uh, the, the Bab Tower of Babel and all that. Yeah. Because America is likened unto the new Tower of Babel. All this, all people trying to come together in the same place. Just defying. It's, it, really, the creation of America was in, in defiance of the Most High Himself. Hey, I got to Let me read this, the faggot scripture. Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with the woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. So that's clear. The Bible said you got to put a faggot to death. And that's it. It says an abomination. What, what do you call getting gonorrhea? Uh, what do you call 140 million people, which is like half the population, what do you call 140 million people with gonorrhea, syphilis, and HIV? Chlamydia. That's a, an abomination. Is that not an abominable? You know what I mean? So these people, they out here, they got all kind of diseases out here, man. This shit is unsafe. It's unsanitary. It is nasty, man. And you think about it, so all these people with all the diseases, they shitting and pissing in the water, and then they going to purifying that same water, turning that to drinking water. I mean, you just think about shit like that, man. It's like, oh, oh God. Goodness. Bitches take out them period pads and throw them right in the toilet. Man. Right in the toilet, yeah, right in the toilet. That get, then we drink, we gotta drink that. Nasty. Nasty ass people. Man, these people are heathens, man. We just surrounded by fucking heathens. I hate these people out here, man. I truly hate all these people. You ain't got no love for them? Nope. None. Hey, that's why the Lord... They love you. Hey, the Lord cursed that fig tree, didn't he? He sure did. It's a fruitless tree. Yeah, the Lord... Seen that. What'd you say? But you were in a store when the... We got to find that scripture. The Lord... That, that, that was a parable. He, that that fruitless fig tree, he cursed that motherfucker. Jeremiah 34, 17. Thus, therefore, thus says Yahweh, He hath not hearkened unto me and proclaiming liberty, every one to his brother and every man to his neighbor. Behold, I proclaim the liberty for you, saith Yahweh, to the sword, to the pestilence, and to the famine, and I will make you to be moved to all the kingdoms of the earth. Right, that's what happened. That's why Israel got scattered among all these nations because we didn't follow the laws of the Most High. And they, our people still ain't following the laws of the Most High. They, they celebrate goddamn Christmas, which is the festival of Baal, the devil, putting fucking trees in their house. You mean find that? I can find it. It's just, it's just started acting right. I got my trusty Bible on me today. Where the hell did it go? Run script or run project? I don't know, I forgot how to do this. I know I got, oh there it is. Is it in seven? I don't know, just, what do you do? Uh, it might be, yeah I think it is seven, eight. I can't remember. That's not a scripture we didn't bring out that much. But yeah, we curse this world. The scriptures say love not the world, so we got no love for this world, man. We curse these fools. Didn't now Paul say, uh, whoever does not teach this doctrine, let them be accursed? In Galatians 1 and 8. So we curse the hell out of these people. Uh, so say it two and four. I got, oh, hold up, I'm sorry. I mean, it's going into- I think I, Luke 13, is that it? Well, um, Matthew 7 is good. I mean, it's good for us to read it. I was just going into fruit, how these wicked motherfuckers okay. bringing in fucked up fruit. And, All right, we can read you know. that. Well, it's good. You got some short curse. What do you got here? 
Oh, yeah, bring, it up, bring that up real quick before we get into this. Hosea 2 and 4. I will not have mercy upon her children, for they be the children whoredoms. For their mother had played the harlot. She that conceived them had done shamefully. For she said, I will go after my lovers that give me my bread and my water, and my wool and my flax, my oil and my drink. Mm -hmm. yeah, just the, that's the precept for Jeremiah 3 you just read. Yep. You know, going after all this shit. Which, uh, provoke the most high to anger. Yeah, yeah. They teach their daughters that shit too. Yeah, they tell you to. You heard your mom say it? Yeah, and yeah and, um, and at the same time, she don't even realize that she's uh, dogging the shit out of you. Like, yep. you ain't shit and you her son, you know? You know, really? these when bitches lay down and spit out black black babies, so called black babies, but. Right, because you ain't you no know? doctor or nothing. Right, so right. Ain't good. gonna be no doctor either. Yep. I'm not even fucking, I don't even wanna be a goddamn doctor. Hell no. Shit, doctor means to be a fucking deceiver any fucking way. No. Fuck these black bitches, man. They gonna be wicked to the missiles car. I'm gonna get my phone. Here, I'll get a. Let me get that loot. It goes back out right there. destroyed for lack of knowledge. That's why these people, they only do what their slave master tells them to do. Okay, because they do everything the elite tell them to do. Because who, whoever controls the planet, they the ones who, can, who picks what days are the holidays. Like Christmas is a government sanctioned holiday. Government doesn't work on Christmas, does it? Okay, uh, Thanksgiving. City, city, none of them motherfuckers do. City, or right? Because uh, and they they have no idea the origins of Christmas or why they celebrate Christmas every year. They do it anyway. Right there, sodomites, right there. Sodomites, filthy heathens. You know what I'm saying? That's all you see out here. We're surrounded by filthy heathens and sodomites, pieces of shits. Uh, what was I saying? But yeah, these fools, they have no idea why they drag a Christmas tree in their house every year. They have no idea. Who the hell is Santa Claus? You know what I mean? You know, I was I was on a witch site. On the internet, I was doing research. And I was on a witch site, you know, where witches, they post their shit. You know, like the Wiccan type shit or something. But they said that the Christmas tree represents the goddess. When you look, and that's funny too, because when you look up that word uh, grove in the Bible, G-R-O-V-E, grove, you know how the Bible says to cut down the groves and burn them with fire? When you look that word grove up in Hebrew, it says Asherah, which is the goddess, you know, the, the queen of heaven goddess. Because that, that's the Christmas tree represents Baal, it's devil worship. I'm trying to figure out what Bible they use. Yeah, that's just they got some, their own body. That's some bugged out shit. Oh, we was just riding through the hood on the way up here. You should have seen the madness we saw up on the south side. Man, these motherfuckers had the uh, the Christmas lights all up in the house with the Frosty the Snowman and yeah, Santa Claus. They had it decked out. Had everything out there. All the goodness. Lights. It looked like Clark Griswold's house. You know what I'm saying? Man, you ain't seen shit until you go up in uh, Dublin or... Westville, people oh, got the money to really get yeah, the shit. point is that all these motherfuckers are broke as fuck and they go out their way to yeah, they decorate broke. their yeah. shit. And they waste all their hard earned money on some dumb ass shit. And they, don't, they don't know that Santa Claus is actually Baal. Santa Satan? Yeah, Santa Satan. It's the same letter, spelled the same word. That's what they called him like 300 years ago. What's that? Santa Satan. Well, they used to call him Father Winter. Cause he's a, actually, may goes back, all the way back to Baal, but actually the Scandinavians just called him Odin, and he wore the little hat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It That's actually, shit, man. yeah, it was it's fucking Odin, man. I mean, Saint Nick was an actual individual. Yeah, Saint Nicholas was a stupid ass nigga. 
<laughs> yeah, Saint but, Nick. But you can look up pictures as the real Saint Nicholas. Mm -hmm. And he don't look nothing like Santa Claus. Yeah. He didn't wear no goddamn little pointed Baal hat. You know what I mean? Saint Nick. Is that little hat with the ball on the top? That's what, if you look up any idols of Baal, like the little statues they worship, he wore that hat with a ball on top. Oh, just like the ancient Egyptian pharaohs, they crowned, the Egyptian crown had that, that, that point on it with the ball on top of it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. pharaohs. It all goes back to some worshiping of the Baal, worshiping of Osiris, worshiping of Nimrod. It's all the same shit. Yeah. It's, the, it's called Satan. Yeah, the Catholic Church wore the hat. All the Catholics, they the, they the ones responsible for pushing that uh, Christmas shit. Because you know what? Back when America was first formed, Christmas was illegal. You wasn't even allowed to celebrate Christmas. But they don't teach you at schools, do they? Hell no. They'll never teach you that. Because they used to be frown. If you used to celebrate Christmas, they would frown upon you. Like, you a goddamn heathen. Not now. It's Not Christmas. now. Hey, well, let's give it to them scriptures. They they you to yeah, if you don't celebrate Christmas, they look at you like, what about your kids? Fuck the children. Yeah, fuck the children. I also children her how to do wicked shit, but through the fucking parents. It's mommy and daddy that teach the kids to be wicked devils to continue, continue on their Yeah, they, they teaching their children to be ignorant, you right. know, to right. not know nothing. That's right. Um, I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of the Most High Yahweh, I will also forget thy children. Yeah, the law said don't worship no other gods. When you celebrate Christmas, you pay homage to other gods. In the ancient world, all pagan religions all celebrated Christmas. The Romans, the Canaanites, all of them, they all celebrated Christmas. That's like, that's like the chief high holy day of Satan. Oh, you know the Church of Satan? They say one of the ch Church of Satan's most high holy days is December 24th, mm. going into 25th. Imagine that. Mm, mm, mm. They know something that everybody else don't. You know what I mean? That's right. As they were increased, so they sinned against me. Oh, I told you, my sister, she worshiped, she's in that Odin and Thor shit. And she uh, told me that she joined the Catholic Church, or she had no problem with the Catholic Church because she understands that it's all paganism. You know what I mean? <laughs> And she 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 respects that about him because she's she likes the Christmas tree, aka the Yule tree. She 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 likes the the fact that Santa Claus is Odin. No, she's into that stuff, and she she knows about all that symbolism. I'll go ahead. It's all for the children. Yeah, that's all. You know, but I like children too. Oh, that's nothing about Santa Claus. We was talking earlier. Tell me, is that not pedophilia? When you take your children to an old man, have him sit on his lap and ask him for stuff? Doesn't that sound like some pedophile shit? You sitting on an old man's lap asking him for stuff. That's like a like a like a like a faggot sugar daddy or something. You sitting on an old man's lap asking him for stuff. That's fucking gay. That's crazy as fuck. And that's beyond that, that's pedophilia. That's a crazy shit. That is crazy. That's why children get traumatized to Santa Claus. They sit on his lap, they start crying. Piss, ah! piss on the, piss they on piss the on him. You know what I mean? He deserved to get pissed on. He probably liked that though. Fucking weirdo. Yeah, because you hear about all the time motherfuckers getting busted in public restrooms, placing contraction in toilets, collecting piss to drink and shit. Uh, and rub all over their stuff. Man, that's big in Columbus, man. Oh, man. These Edomites here in Columbus get caught with that shit all the time. So you see. Lovers. This is gone out here, Golden man. Golden showers and shit. So you wonder why we wish death on these people, man. All right, let's go ahead with that. Thanks, dude. Oh, she really did. As they were increased, so they sinned against me. Therefore will I change their glory into shame. Right. Everybody's doing good right now, dude. They having a glorious holiday season. You know what I mean? That they, they doing so they got all these presents, they living good, they have about a warm fireplace, watching the football game, and pow, they ass gets destroyed. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be beautiful, man, when y'all's destruction comes. 
shit, this is it is beautiful this year, man. Cause a lot of me folks, a lot of people are depressed because they can't buy the gifts they used to can buy, man. People run out, ran out of their luck, man. Lost their job, losing jobs and shit. That's good. You know, kill a motherfucker. What was that? Out west. Lewis. Oh yeah, right up in the house. And the scriptures say. Depression. That was right by Deshaun's old house. Hey, what's that scripture say? There's none innocent. I'm about to look it up. Yeah, yeah, the, the children. Because people think that all, oh, because those children probably, their family probably was doing some wicked shit. Yeah, I yeah. guarantee you they had to celebrate Christmas and all that's that. Right, that's right, that's right, that's right. At least they were at the one at my church. I went to go last year. Yeah. The five-year-old shit. This is the best thing. This is the best thing. This little girl still talking about sex. Well. They bugged out. Man, man. The, when they had the apartment out south, man, I just pull in, man, motherfucking kids were playing, the, playing in the, uh, put the parking lot, and they cussed me out for pulling in. Went to the park. I just used some little, 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 little monsters, man. Like, what's up, nigga? I mean, what's up, nigga? Little D. I'm like trying to come in and park in a big ass truck, and these motherfuckers don't give a damn, man. What's up, nigga? What's up, nigga? We playing, nigga. <laughs> he used to crack me up though, man. We talking about the, the, the apartments? Yeah. Right, like, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. go tell my daddy he gonna get his pistol. <laughs> yeah, they used to cuss at me daddy. too, little bastard. That shit used to crack me up though. They be man. outside in the middle of the street, no shoes on, no shirt, boogers all up on their face. <laughs> Stop. Glass all the way in the parking lot, <laughs> almost getting hit. Yeah. And don't care, man. The mom is no, cause you know they ain't got no dad, it's all single mom. And we knew all of them. And the, where's the mom? Nobody fucking knows. Nobody knows. She ain't I with remember the kids. one day a dude came speeding. Them motherfuckers is huge out there sniffing. Sniff, sniff. Yeah. The whole community would get to There's all on the pills. Yep. Yeah. Remember that one fat bitch? That fat bitch. That, 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 that fat bitch. That fat bitch. Yeah, same she's same. the one that came out like, they passing out free of Bible phones. Yeah. <laughs> she let the whole neighborhood know that. Yeah. And remember that they, before they, right before they lived, moved, everybody else was in that park. It yep. was all in their snort and pills. It was, too. It was all in their snort and pills. Plus, that Skeletor, your dude. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That bitch, yep. she was high on She the one that probably thing. started the trend. She probably there. was. Oh, what yep. about that one girl that lived right next to us? The one that placed a party? Oh, man. The nephew said he hit it? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you just don't give a shit you hit that, man. Was that one, was one Fraggle nephew, Rocks nephew mom? Yeah, shit. Fraggle Rocks mom. Busted Rocks? didn't give a shit yeah. what he hit, man. You gotta be out of your mind to hit that shit, man. I don't give a damn how horny and desperate, man. That was Dave's girl. He's trying to teach her the scriptures. I bet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He was eating that bitch's pussy, man. He didn't even fuck her, man. <laughs> he didn't even hit it, man. <laughs> he was just eating her pussy. You know, this shit was all ashy, too. It was all crusty. Probably pussy. Got like scabs on on the. <laughs> shit all worn out. You gotta be out your fucking mind. Probably spots all up and down her legs. Yeah, this was good times back then, boy. <laughs> we seen some shit over there, though, didn't we? A lot of shit. A lot of shit. Hey, this was a witness, man. Yeah, yeah. We ain't crazy. Yeah, remember the one nigga that was living with his girl? He lived on the end, same building. Remember how they broke up? Oh, yeah. You know, hey, everybody we was, that we taught the words yep, over there got yep. fucked up. Oh, Eric, he was out. He worked at. To talk to dude, man. He worked at my restaurant and he was smoking rocks behind the dumpster and yep. got fired. For real? Yeah. And then his girl kicked him out. And that other dude that was the musician, his bitch. I remember his, him, yeah. Because yeah. remember, we taught yeah. him that you wasn't supposed to eat pork. He came over there with a fresh Bible, didn't he? I told what him all kinds of shit about the Bible. He was like, well, the Bible says a lot of things. Yeah, we're talking about the two different, because they live right next to each other. The one dude was a musician at a Play church. Played the keyboard. I remember him. Church. And we was telling him about the scriptures, and he was talking about pork or whatever. We was like, you know you ain't supposed to be eating that shit. The Bible said don't eat it. He said, the Bible say a lot of things. <laughs> right, right. And then, what, maybe six months, a year later, all of his shit's out in the front yard. His bitch telling him to get the fuck out. Yeah, his bitch sold all of his shit in the yard. I so. think I even got some of his shit out the trash that she threw away. <laughs> yeah, I took that shit, put it right on Craigslist. Yeah, most I came to judge him. Because it was a while before shit was happening out there. Man. Yeah, it took us. It, it gives you time. Yeah, he gives some people time. Some it gives you judgment shorter. Yeah. That you know? one bitch got stabbed in the neck on Mother's yeah, Day. Yeah, oh, yeah, she got, yep, yeah, yeah, she got yeah. stabbed. Well, I still got the video. Was that the one when you recorded? Yeah, I yeah, got it on yeah, video. That's right, that's Her right. coming out, she blood everywhere. On the gurney. <laughs> the new that speaker. was that bitch. There was lesbians. There was lesbians. Her and some of uh, that white bitch. Cause she threw that white bitch's shit out. Cause I guess she cheated on her. Yeah, I remember the white girl. Remember and I, was I got talking to white girl. I got all kind of children's clothes that she tossed out. I got their photo albums. I didn't know who did. I got me a. Were I, NA books. I was gonna put my pictures in there. Yeah, AA's. 
Yeah, I just never called. It's uh, from Dayton. Oh, yeah. It was from Dayton. And, uh, yeah, dude, I got, and then they eventually got kicked out, too, and I got all their furniture, bro. <laughs> it was, went straight up in our shit. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's the Lord. That's the Lord. That's the that's Lord. How it works, man. That's how it works, man. You don't know. We lived in apartments. The Lord hooked us up. We went in there with hardly no furniture. We came out with a furniture store. Table. I still got tables for days. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That judgment, man. That's that judgment, bro. They eat up the sin of my people and they set their heart on their iniquity. Oh, hold on. I got a precept for you. You know, we've been out here talking about adultery. Hold that, though. Don't, don't skip it. We got to read that again. We just talking about all that adultery and shit. Right. I just came across a precept. This is a good scripture. Uh, Proverbs 6 and 29. So he that goeth into his neighbor's wife Whosoever touch of her shall not be innocent. That's a good scripture, right? Because that's all these fools do, man. While you go to work, if you got a girl, man, she's fucking everybody up in the whole apartment complex. Oh, because judgment ain't going to come in her lifetime. The Lord ain't going to come until what? Hundreds of thousands of years from now. That's what they think, man. But we just sitting there and watch the judgment unfold right before that's our right, eyes. That's right. That's right. That's right. Every time. It don't never fail, man. Here you go. Ecclesiastes 8 and 11, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. I mean, they don't think judgment's gonna come in their lifetime, nor do they think they're gonna get judged, period. Uh, hey, you can, y'all have to get judged. <laughs> Motherfuckers think they immortal, <laughs> untouchable. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, they got on that, that, that immortality on yeah. <laughs> they don't make a pass 35. <laughs> Most I'd be taking fools out earlier than how how old was your boy nephew when he got taken out? He was in his 20s, wasn't he? 20 late 20s? Early 30s? Well, I, we can go down to we done did it before. All kind of people we taught the word to are no longer with us. No, the average uh because we never gave people a break. Just like now, we round motherfuckers, we don't give them a break, man. It's just what we do. The average black man life that drops out of high school is 21. Damn. They die at tw age Damn. 21. Well, they look drop at Chicago, out of school. Chirac. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's going down in Chicago. They about to make a movie about it. It's going down in Chicago right now. I mean, you know, there's some motherfuckers we can't teach, you know that. But we only teach them just to vex them more. Knowing it ain't going to help them, but they don't want to hear the word regardless. It just vex them shit out of them yeah. when you're reading the scriptures and condemning them through the scriptures, man. Yep. It ain't that we're trying to teach them any motherfucking thing. Because you already know, you, most people just can't be taught. That's all there is to it. So if you can't teach them, what are you doing? You cursing their asses out. That's right, that's right, that's right. You can't teach these fools. You know what I'm saying? These people are unteachable. They, they're, what do they call that? Uh, cis, broken cisterns that can hold no water. <laughs> What's that? You know what that's at? The they like broken cisterns that can hold no water. But there's one like that there might be the one I'm thinking of Ecclesiastes 12, 21, something like that. I can't remember. I can look it up actually. This is about a fool's what well, fool's what? A fool is like a broken cistern. Well, I've already quoted it, so we already got it. Hey, let me read this real quick, bro. Go, wait a minute. Now go ahead, bring, bring it out. Okay, this is Nahum 1 and 3. I'm gonna start at 1 and 2. The most high Yahweh, the Hashem Yahweh Shai is jealous, and the Lord revenges. The Lord revenges and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries and he will reserve wrath for his enemies. Yeah, so the Lord is furious and he's going to bring wrath on these fucking assholes. Here's the point three. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power. Slow to anger. That's why when we give people the truth, they don't get destroyed immediately. Usually, you don't never know. <laughs> yeah, usually, yeah. <laughs> but usually, I mean, like we said, you might give them the truth a couple times, and then here comes a year, maybe two years later, they drop dead. Hey, hey. Something really bad happens to them. Hey, uh, Guy's uh, cousin, remember him? His came kind of quick. He's out of there. Yeah, he was like in three months. <laughs> When's the last time we talked to Guy? Oh, man. I wonder if he's still around. I'm gonna go look and see if I can find his number and call him, just out of curiosity. Yeah. Because you might. know when I call them, they're going to be on the phone and try not to go there with the truth. Yeah, they don't want to. The whole conversation with how you doing. You watch the Steelers? Yeah, right, right. 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 I was out in the yard today uh, working on my garden. Because that's the last time I talked to the guy. He was uh, 
first he was just talking about us coming down here to hang out and kick it, man, down in Florida. You know? I'm going down to no goddamn Florida. Go down, down to down Palm Florida, Beach. Yeah. Goddamn Gator. If we country. do, man, we're going out there to post up. And that's it. I ain't going out to that raggedy motherfucker. Shit. Fuck going that shit. I, I'm trying to go somewhere, though. I ain't trying to just stay here, man. Hey, go to uh, Hawaii. No, there ain't no uh, in, um, people uh, out in, in Hawaii. Christopher There's Lord's out there. Oh, yeah, we go to <laughs> talk to True Tyrese. I can't remember. Um, um, damn, damn, man. I you know he watches our videos. Man. Damn. What are you talking about? The guy is. Where he moved to. Oh, he ran down the way. He left his son, too. Him and his wife, they moved down there. Him and his wife, his girl. Um, Hell, he used to say I eat shit. I was scared of her. Yeah, hell yeah. I go up in the house, boy. She looked at me like I was the devil. Oh man. And they charged their son like five thousand dollars for a water they bill. Taxed him. They, hit him. they put him. They put their son in slavery. Well, that's what he get though. I don't feel. I felt bad at first, but now I don't feel bad now. The Lord you know? free sin. Yeah, cause we go pick him up. Be like, it's time to go teach. Go pick him up. He's inside. Damn. Taking a shower. And I already Finish called him a texting like an call hour, of duty. two hours before. Yeah. You know, you I go to I, I go to there. pick him up. He's on the porch. Wait, wait, wait. That's called um um. That's eager, man. That's yeah, been he's eager. You know, he's on the porch every time. Never yep. fails. I ain't even got to knock on the door. I just almost sleep half the time. Huh? I'm with my mom. You do want me to meet her? Nah, hell no. <laughs> oh, they'd be over with then. You, you know, you I'm never gonna call know, the police, though. I catch your ass around my son again. Yeah. You know, so that type of that's why you think I've been going to approach the way I've approached him. God I'm distant. You know? I mean, that's why that's why you gotta be I'm smart distant, too. man. Shit. Like the last person you want to give the truth to is your mom. I never even want to pull up in front of his house, man. You know? I seen her before though. She gave me she gave me that look. This motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I already know who she is. I know her from the motorcycle clubs. <laughs> that's how I know her. He said the motorcycle. Club. <laughs> yeah, that's what I know her from. Hey, your mom's going hard. Yeah. That's what I know her from. That's the most evilest people I've ever been around with people that set the motorcycle club, man. I don't be trying to give my mom no truth. The one percenters? Oh, hell no, man. My mom told me she know the whole Bible, so I, I say, well, for real? <laughs> your mom's a one percenter? Yeah. <laughs> man, she's still asking me if I want to help decorate the Christmas tree. Hey, hey, mom, okay. It's like, are you, are you serious? It's like in one ear out the other. They just forget. Oh, I put that shit up about Christmas on Facebook and mom was like, I'm still buying you a present, though. Well, take the present. Ain't nothing wrong with taking the gifts, man. Oh, no. Take Ain't nothing wrong with taking the gifts, man. You get. Damn right. You damn right. Shit. You My know? Please give me more. Yeah. I'll get you nothing. <laughs> For real. That's fucked up. For real. I'll get you nothing. <laughs> Ain't no wrong with that. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I do get people's stuff, but... I do it when I feel like it. You know what I mean? You gotta wait till this special retarded day. Once a year. The Once shortest day of the year? It is the shortest, well, yeah. The 24th? 24th is the shortest day of the year. Mm -hmm. It actually is the 24th. And the 25th is, is when they say the sun rises. Yeah, because the 24th is the darkest day of the year. It's the day with the least amount of sunlight. And on December 25th, the days start getting longer again. That, that's what Christmas is all about. Goddamn sun worship. These people don't know. You try to tell that to these fools. They'll go, huh? Damn, you cold as fuck, ain't you? If it's about Jesus, who's you this saw his motherfucker bitches are Rudolph ugly. the reindeer, motherfucker? What? <laughs> Do you, hey, you remember the scripture? When the Lord was on a sleigh with reindeers and Santa Claus? Ooh, that don't make no sense. But it's all about Jesus. I heard this song the other day. Dude said, I learned everything I need to know in life from John Deere and John 316. Wow. <laughs> John Deere and John 316. What a dumbass. You know, that's it was a country song, song, of course. And he meant it, too. <laughs> he don't know where he heard somebody else say it, so he's he fucking saying the same shit. That's what, that's what Christmas is. They was taught something from birth. So they just keep doing the same thing. That's why people eat chitlins. Even though they, it's pig intestines and that's where this pig shit goes through. That's all they've been taught, so they keep eating shit. I can't believe I can keep that shit. But you gotta, you'd be blessed to, to come out of that, you know what I mean? Thank the Lord I never tried that shit. I can't believe I used to eat that shit. 
I don't even know what it looks like. Shillings? Man, it looks like, look like you shouldn't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like. That's slavery food. Mm -hmm. That's the shit that feed a slave. Mm -hmm. You gotta clean them motherfuckers. You gotta clean fat and shit all out of them. Oh, the, God. You gotta clean them. You Not gotta clean puke. the shit. Anything, you gotta... Oh, my. So that's why I was saying, these people, whatever their slave master gives them, that's what they Well, is it straight up know. intestines? Hmm? It's just straight up intestines. Well, they Small clean intestines, them. They clean them. Large them. intestines. All they numbers intestines. That's the pig guts. I mean, that's the same thing as sausage. Sausage has got pig intestines. Eat in. They yeah. eat sausage. You, you ever ate them chitlins, yeah. sauce? Yeah, hot, oh, hot dogs got the nuts, guts, eyeballs, ears, nose. eyeballs. Nope. I mean, you don't know what's in that shit. Oh, they said they found it's human now, DNA. Uh, human uh, DNA in hot yeah, dogs. Yeah, human DNA. Human DNA, yeah. That backs up. That's because the, the Jews own all the butcher shops. And after they drain the blood out, the children they abduct, they just throw the throw the remainder of the meat. That's in the, right. In the, yeah. Squish it up. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's soil and green, pretty much. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All you gotta do is pull up on YouTube. It's a popular video. It's called "The Lying Jew" with uh William uh not William Fink. What's that ass? Radio one? host dude Wickstrom, Pastor Wickstrom. Mm -hmm. That's a bad video, man. Cause the the the, uh, the the Jew rat go. He's specific about every fucking. But you know rat. the dude who did an interview that pastor. Right. I be battling mine. He he's got his own channel. It's called Arcrodius or something. His name's Pastor Wickstrom. Yeah, because he was replacing the original dude that was supposed to be uh, in, interviewing the Jew. Yep. Yeah, he was So he to. got his own yeah. shit. But All you right. got to actually talk to the it's guy. It's probably good, though. It's probably a good channel, though, to be honest with you. He's got, but he tries to say uh, only Western Europeans are Israelites. Mm -hmm. That's what he teaches. And I was hitting him with uh, Revelation 7, talking about how Israel's among, you know, scattered among all these nations. Right. He, he, I shut his ass down. Yeah, Yahweh is the Lord's name. Yeah, that's what he says, Yahweh. Yeah. He always said, that's what he calls him, Yahweh. Yeah. Yeah. I asked him, I was like, where you get that name Yahweh? You get that from the fake Jew, motherfucker. Yeah. So I told him, I pretty much told him that he was in an alliance with those fake Jews. Yeah, and he claimed to hate them. Yep, and he, he claimed to hate them. them. Yep. But that Jew go, he's real specific on everything. He, oh, you know, he actually told me. He's like, you seem like you're a very, very knowledgeable man. <laughs> and he actually said so. He was trying to be cool with me. Yeah. Because yeah, I was, yeah. you know, he knew yeah. he was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a good Because when though. you pull motherfuckers' card, if some, you know, like the scriptures say, a wise, uh, a fool becomes wise when he shuts his mouth. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Scriptures mention that. What's you that know? scripture? Uh, be, be, be swift to listen. A, a fool that is silent is wiser than a wise man's wisdom that's or something a, like that. That's something like that, yeah. Yeah, I, put, yeah, yeah, I, I brought like that, that out yeah. a couple yeah. weeks ago. Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh, that's like Proverbs 1 and something. 1 and 20. Uh, to listen. Something like that. That's why the Lord gave you two fucking ears. Both sides of your big ass. You know what I'm saying? Yep, two ears and one mouth. That's right. Shut your ass up. You know? That mouth is just to answer yay or nay. <laughs> you know the truth? <laughs> you know? That's why you gotta watch a dude like me on YouTube. You gotta be weary of the people who comment on every video. You know? Yeah. You, a guy that comments on everything and always got something to say. Videos. You can, yeah, that always comments on every elder's video. You gotta watch a guy like that, man. I mean, it's different if, if they're adding stuff to the video and precept. But you got some people, they just always want to be seen. They're leaving billions of comments because they want people to know that they exist. <laughs> you know what I mean? They think they're special. Yeah, yeah. They gonna get credit for watching the video. <laughs> Fucking brown nosers and shit. <laughs> they're trying to get the Israelite host. <laughs> I say because you got a lot of dudes. They leave comments because they got something intelligent, something to add. You know what I mean? But a lot of dudes they ain't added nothing. They just like cheerleaders and shit. Mm -hmm. And it's always the same dudes that don't go out teaching too. They, backyardigans. Yeah, backyardigans. <laughs> backyardigans. Hey, no, there was actually a camp they called the backyardigans. Who was that? Oh, that was, yeah, yeah, that was yeah. years ago. Yeah. Years ago. Still is, motherfuckers. Yeah. Up. They was making videos in their backyard, and they it's, called. Yeah, <laughs> it still is. A lot of them are coming up still. They still <laughs> being posted. In the backyard again. <laughs> People be in alleys and shit by dumpsters. <laughs> 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 be in alleys by dumpsters, man. 
You know what I'm saying? And, they be, and every time they read the scripture, they do this. <laughs> All right, no one's coming. Go ahead with that, Ark. Out there worried. Out there worried. That's, some, that's funny as fuck, though. It is funny. Fun I've seen a dude like that, yeah, in the middle of a park. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with doing videos by yourself. Right. I do that. I go out in the damn forest and make a video. Right, right. But yeah. I'm not afraid to come out here, man. Anywhere. We've been taught all over this raggedy ass city. We, we, don't, we don't curse out crowds of a thousand people and more. Like, curse. we give a fuck. We was not scared. Hell yeah. I remember that day the parade was out Yeah, par day. we cursed out a whole parade. It was packed out here. It was packed, yep. man. I need to find that video. That was a bad, that was a that was a fun night, man. I had fun. Packed as far as we could see. Yeah, the parade came to do was rapping. Yep. Oh no. They remember they were sitting back here. Oh yeah, that was the day when the uh when the Buckeyes came home, the basketball team returned. Some shit. I don't remember what day. And they was all sitting everywhere. Yep. Oh no, they was watching the team leave the city to go to the tournament. I think they was going. Yeah. That's when they was going to the championship or something. Yeah. Yeah, and then thousands of people. We was out here preaching at the top of our lungs. You could hear a pin drop. You know what I mean? That's that. That's so how quiet heard, it got out that's here. All you heard was the word being pushed. That's all you heard. Thousands of people. Shit. Fucking heathens. We marked the shit out of the city that day. Yep. And Buckeyes <laughs> lost that day too. Yeah. Was that back when they had Odin and shit? No, that was after Odin. I can't fucking remember. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. Odin was bad though. Yeah. They had a Sillinger or some shit. Yeah, that was yeah, that was that's that shit. I don't I don't even pay attention to OSU basketball no more. I don't even know who I don't fucking care. <laughs> Dad modest bitch. I don't even know who's on the Bengals no more. They got that one quarterback. I know they got a ginger. Hey, what's up? Oh. They got slut. Yeah, cause yeah, you got people that say Andy Dalton was a cracker, that cracker. Who? The, the quarterback for the Bengals. He's an Israelite. You do Dalton, the ginger, the dude with the red. He got red hair. Now? Yeah. He's a hell of a quarterback. And Carson Palmer fucked him up the other day. Oh, okay. They, they beat the fans. So they oh, beat, nah. They, they beat the I don't, fans. I don't even watch that shit. No, I'm a Patriots <laughs> fan. I saw watching. You're a Patriots fan now? <laughs> yeah. You're jumping wagon. You're jumping yeah. wagon and shit. Hell yeah. You're on That's camera you. admitting that shit. Patriots. So fucking what? They're I winners. The Patriots, man. They're I hate winners. the name. Oh, I hate yeah. everything about them. Oh, yeah. The, I like Tom Brady. He's a hell of a stand up guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they crooked as hell. Hey, that's hey, why the Patriots. Cheers, prosper. That's just all set up and rigged anyway. I don't that, give a fuck about no football. That Like that, that first Super Bowl the Patriots won. They hate us because they ain't us. That they won the Super Bowl the year 9 11. What a coincidence yeah. to get everybody in a Patriot yeah. spirit. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like your bitch playing the air drums. She's getting it. She's get it. Get it. What you listening to? <laughs> <laughs> you think? I'm not, no. <laughs> no. Had titties and shit, you know. <laughs> and I still don't think it's a woman. <laughs> Pat. Pat. Bangs, man. That's an ugly motherfucker, too. That's that Pat. Pat's <laughs> real, man. Morphodite. How many times do we see a pack? A lot down here. Oh, we see a lot of packs. That was one right there. They're victims. You can't blame them. Uh, They're victims. And he was really in the spirit. That shit. Probably listening to some bullshit. Too. She was listening to Little Drummer Boy. Pump, 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 pump. That goddamn Christmas music is demonic as hell. That should stay in your brain too. It does. Cause, cause what they do is they take old melodies and. Convert them into Christmas songs. What's that? At least it's that Mary Did You Know song. Mary Did You Know? I don't know if I know. I probably have. I fucking hate that shit. Silent Night, Holy oh, Night. Yo, when, we, when we was children, we used, to, we used to, I used to be a member of the church. We used to go around singing goddamn Christmas carols. That's some baggage. The shit. door to door with candles. We better have. Oh, what's that? Silent night. Oh. oh. All right, uh, just How stop with the pain? singing shit, okay? We freeze our asses off doing that shit. Yeah. And most people are just like, get out of here. <laughs> I don't hear that shit. <laughs> Actually going to door to door singing Christmas carols. What kind of madness is that? What kind of truth are you spreading doing that? 
was just a bunch of brainwashed children. That's what we was. Yeah, we grew up Southern Baptist. You know what kind of madness I seen up in there? That shit was fucking torture. I felt like I was tortured every day going to church. Felt like I was in slavery. That's crazy. You really, you could come wait till that goddamn sermon was over. Like, let me out of this motherfucker. Please. Just talk, talk, talk to people. Well, cause you know, yeah, it take all day. No, my mom didn't go to church. Oh, was a babysitter. She, Mom was, was hung church. over on Sunday. She'll morning. even admit it. She'll tell you. Oh, church. Yeah, that was daycare. Shit, I guess. Yeah, she got. She, oh, yeah, Sunday. She's hung over on Sunday. So <laughs> she didn't want to deal with this. <laughs> right. Sunday? That's dress day. Shit. Jim, Jim funny, and Linda man. came and picked us up yep. for church. <laughs> she did, yeah, we got church members pick us up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, we used to go to church a few times. My mom made us go, man. I'll be, I'll be wandering around the church looking for the place to shit to steal, man. <laughs> yeah, you just being there clowning. I still remember looking around the church for shit to steal. Go up in there and get the animal crackers Breaking and juice. Open, that was locked upstairs and in the basement. And then we, then we went to Sunday school too, not just the Damn. sermon. Y'all had to go all day. No, it was an all day thing. For years, I had it. I endured that shit. And then she sent us to after school programs, yeah, fucking I, Boy Scouts. I mean, what's the difference? Been on the streets. What's the fucking? But then we had like always some young dumb bitch in charge of Sunday school, teaching you a bunch of retarded shit. It was brainwashing you. What the fuck is Sunday school anyway? A, a place where dumb fat bitches teach little children lies. That's where I learned how to sing Father Abraham. Yeah, pretty much. It's only the fat bitch and the old bitch. You know, a fat bitch and an old bitch. <laughs> they want none of them hoes looking good either. I wish there was some good looking hoes in there. Yeah, right, right, right. Just yeah. like school. All them good looking hoes turned out to be dykes. Maybe Or prostitutes. Whores, heroin Heroin methods. addicts, yeah. <laughs> That's the truth. That's crazy as hell. That's crazy as fuck. Here you go. This is um Jeremiah five and seven. Um, how shall I pardon thee for this? Thy children have forsaken me and sworn by them that are no gods. When I have fed them to the full, they then committed adultery and assembled themselves by troops. In the heart of houses. Yeah. You know? Those churches are harlot houses. Shit. A whole house. A whole house. You want some pussy? Go to church. <laughs> really? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> but, nah, because they're not, but you got to believe what they believe, though. You can't go in there teaching the truth. You ain't got to believe it. You just got to act like it. <laughs> you go teaching me the truth, you ain't getting no pussy. Oh, I remember the, 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 the video that was up, the brothers and all. There goes El Gauska's little goofy brother. Goofy tall. Ten foot tall. Goofy motherfucker right there. They probably a basketball player. Well, the brothers from GMS that went up in the church, and uh, the spirit of the Lord put the spirit on the old congregation and the preacher to, to let them go at it, man. Oh, yeah? And they, the, they, the brothers was up on the pulpit. On the just, pulpit? They was killing them, man. Killing wow. them. It was all destruction scriptures, What channel man. was that on? I got some. Everything was old. It was like oh, two, was about five oh, years ago. Okay. That was a bad video too. It took a, it took like about forty five minutes to an hour. He, he like going up in churches. Huh? Well, I've been wanting to my damn self. Maybe we should go do another. Uh, Let's go to World Harvest. Oh hell no! I want to go somewhere we can. Uh, They'll assassinate us. Oh, uh, that's just too open. And that's too far away too. That's all of a gender road way out there. That's on TV, ain't it? Yeah. They got security and shit up there. They don't fuck around. That's where your homie Ed goes. Right. I bet Ed would get the truth. They didn't talk about how uh, Babylon talking about cross the business. They went into the congregation and it was, it was in the morning though, so it was empty a little bit. So right, right. And I stood up and I asked the dude a question, I read the scriptures, and then he took me downstairs and then What? Oh no, shit. Like, yeah, I thought he was gonna kill me. Oh, that's some casting cows type shit he was trying to get. Yeah, you he was trying to get a blowjob. Yeah, he's yeah, you know. You know, that's what they do. Well, actually what they really don't yet yeah, what they really want to do. Is he, he thinking he can convert you to his bullshit mm -hmm. so he can get you up in there, make sure you got a job so you can get some tights. Who, Peraza? Oh, that Peraza first thing he asked me is what kind of job what, you got. What's your hustles, what's man? What's your hustle? Hey, I know a perfect name. You should go, uh, like, what's it called? Uh, Bible studies. So you can just go, like, at 7 o'clock Wednesdays, and that's instead of doing it really Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I've been trying to find, yeah, I can't find a spy camera. cam nowhere, man. Oh, I got, yeah, I one, still, I got I a lighter got, coming. I still got a spy camera at home. I need one, I want one myself, man. I want right. one myself. No, that's one of them body cameras. Everybody knows what they are now. You can't though. even barely, well, you can just. I still want, I don't give a damn. Yeah, because that's old ass tech. That's, I got that spy camera, what, five years ago? I and got that's one the on the way, it looks like a big lighter. Oh, yeah? This was a little tiny thing. And they still using them like there's some hot new item. The cops are paying like 80 bucks a piece. And they're fucking, I paid $15 for mine on eBay. Damn. I think it was cheaper than that. Now, yeah. I can't get shit. Now my PayPal account got $1.50 in it. So I can't. <laughs> I got PayPal credit, son. Hey, the PayPal CEO said in the future, if you want to use PayPal, you got to have a microchip in your brain. Check that out. Well, it's coming. He's just showing that he's part of the goddamn system. Oh, the RFID. You had that credit, all them new credit cards got the smart chips, RFIDs and shit in them. Well, you see China just invested for, like uh, 14 billion into uh, into uh, uh, making chips, making the future chips, man. They're, yeah, they've been investing. You best believe China will be the first country mm -hmm. to get it. My old bank card was still perfectly good, but the bank just sent me a new one with the RFID yeah, in it. Yeah, you, know, you can't use old. They said they fo phasing the old shit, the swipe shit. They're phasing them out. Yeah, dude just stuck my shit in this machine. Some yeah. Right there. Yep. Y'all know your mo bikes. Y'all know who Bruce Lee is? Come here for a minute. Come here, man. Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee? That's a national hero. A lot of them heathens hate Bruce Lee, man. Oh, and yeah. He's, 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 he's considered a traitor. A traitor, yep, you're right. Yep. They hate him. That's why they killed him. Yep. And everybody know Bruce Lee was assassinated. Oh, that's all. So right. was his son. Yeah, his son. They killed his son, too. How you gonna shoot somebody with a blank? <laughs> like, come on, man. Who buying that, right? They killed his ass. Made that crazy ass movie, The Crow. <laughs> That's some buck. That movie, oh, Crow that, movie. The Crow, the Crow, the Crow. That's that a, movie's badass. That's a, that's I don't a, remember. That's a movie. crazy I watch, movie. I don't remember. It's about up in, on Devil's Night. You know when a dude he dies and comes back to life and just fucking shit up. The Crow. I'm gonna yeah. go home and watch that. The Crow. Shit. Yeah, I watched it. I don't remember. Bro. That's a, and that was. I night. think it's still yeah. on Netflix. That's old. I don't fuck with that Netflix shit. Oh yeah, I said they fucking up. Soon Netflix is going to be the only way to watch movies. They shutting down all the torrent sites and everything. There ain't but a couple torn sites left, man. The internet is fucked. We told y'all years ago to use it while you got it. You know what I mean? It's almost gone now. Hey, guess what? I'm tired of all that shit anyway. Yeah, I don't watch that shit. It, it, it's good, though, because I watch a lot of historical movies. I don't be downloading the newest movies. I get on the torn sites. I download, you know, all the old... I like them old swords and sandal movies, the, his, the old badass shit from the 50s and 60s. Well, that shit over right now. I already got most of them done, so fuck them. That shit over right now. That's tough. That's a good place to get documentaries too. Yeah, we were spoiled, man. We were spoiled like shit, man. Like five years ago, the internet was was awesome. Now it's fucking a pile of shit. Yeah. The first one to go was uh, Mega Upload. Kim.com's fat ass. Yeah, we knew it was coming. Though. It ain't finished. It's, it, 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 they on they shit man. It's gonna get even worse. It's gonna get worse. You're like you said that new YouTube. What's that YouTube Red or? YouTube Red man. I ain't clicking that shit. Even no, I ain't fucking it, with that man. Yeah, I was wondering if anybody tried it though, just out of curiosity. I ain't fucking with it. So I heard somebody say that it was a a new way of them uh, keeping the brothers further apart, not being able to contact each other. Or, they already or make a hard to contact like that, people. Man. Yeah. How they? You know how you can you can a video. Sometimes when you're on your page. And it gives you suggestion videos, yep. and that's and, and that's being controlled too. Recommended yep. for you. You know, I, I, I was just wondering if anybody tried it yet to, to verify, you know, the, it, it, it's controlled. You know. Yeah, they I, they locking that, that shit down. Yeah. I mean, all all the email services and everything. Have you used Yahoo Mail lately? Yahoo Mail. You can't even get a Yahoo account now without a cell phone number because they want to make sure they know who's using it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's all control. And then they, they giving you advertisements in your mail. And Yahoo Mail is slow as fuck now. I don't, it, you can't even, it's unusable. Mine's slow, slow as fuck, man. I, I got an i5 processor. That's like one of the, 
one of the better processors, and my shit still slow. That's crazy. And I noticed that the advertisement coming through now, man. I didn't notice that. Yeah, you got advertisements in your mail. Yeah, in your fucking what mail. What the fuck and is not that? Your, not the spam mail. It comes up in your regular it shit. Comes, it's the first message. Mm -hmm. That's crazy, man. And it's That's just crazy. slow as fuck. Because I used to love Yahoo services back in the day. Well, I love still... not the world. <laughs> he got it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but hey, I, I still get Yahoo's. A, I think it's still one of my top sites for news, though. Mm -hmm. That yeah. news feed they got. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. That's bad. I that's think bad. that's better than Drudge. Because yeah. they give you all the news, man. I be seeing all kind of stories on Yahoo. Oh, that, they got Drudge beat. They do, man. They really do. Drudge cool, though. Drudge be missing all kind of shit because he got an agenda. Yeah, he's um, so very selective. Yeah, he's very, very selective. selective. Yep. He yep. won't cover a lot of shit. Yep. I get, yeah, you get sick of Drudge sometimes. Charlie you know, Sheen's so guy. Hugo, they, Alex Jones loves him. He's a Jew. Yep. He's a homosexual Jew. Yeah, and Alex Jones loves him. That's, a, that's red flags all over the place. <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> Alex, Alex the Zion is shield. <laughs> you know, he hates hearing that too, boy. Oh, hey, you seen Alex's Jones house? Yeah. House? That motherfucker's got it made. He got kicked out of his house. Property, man. He got he got acreage. Not no more. Acreage. His wife got acreage. Oh, yeah. She left him? She left his ass and took all his shit. That's now crazy. his ass is living in an apartment and or something. all that ass kissing he was doing, he got too <laughs> No, I just seen a picture. Yeah. He did well, a video nice yesterday one. or on right. Thanksgiving in his house. Oh, that might have been his family, though. They, they really did separate? Yeah, his wife divorced him. She got a big ass set of that's why right after he got divorced, he had a money bomb. Uh -huh. And he said, oh, we got this new equipment. But every, you read the comment boards, it's like, oh, he's just getting all this money from the money bomb to pay off that fucking, uh, that settlement or whatever. Yeah, I always thought that, that was That motherfucker's fuck still paid. I was just seeing him walking through the no, studio. I investigated. Right. She really left it's his real. ass. It's real. She he did a video ass. walking through the studio was... yesterday. His oh, studio yeah. is fucking laid no, out. His studio is dope. Yeah, that's some bad shit, man. But you, I can't, you can't listen to his ass because every every two seconds on the show, he's talking he's about some artist. goddamn prostate guard or... <laughs> Lock life. Yeah, all this fucking health pills and shit. You know that shit's fake. Yeah, what's that? You know it's fake. Some silver iron. What's that? The brain power, the brain fusion, whatever the fuck. Silver ion. With the selected herbs. and I ain't trying to hear that shit, man. You got Dr. Gruber, whatever the fuck. Get your water there. filtration system. Fuck. This is a big ass commercial. Because <laughs> he used to have the best guests, man. Yeah, sure did. I used to. Have good shows, too. Man, he's still, every once in a while, he'll have a good show. Yeah, so Howard Stern's got better guests than him. <laughs> Howard Stern. That's a good one. Howard Stern Stern? Hell yeah, it's serious he, he don't radio. Do it every day, though. I listen to Howard every once in a while just to stay up on the pop culture bullshit. Yeah, Howard Stern, that's a foul individual. Because <laughs> he get everybody on that show. He, he always talking about his little always penis. Always talking about his dick. His little penis. He specifies. Don't he ever ex... Little penis. He yeah. say, I got the littlest pe I probably got the littlest penis on earth. And if you he's get on the show, the, he's going to ask you about your dick. <laughs> and what kind of sex... Shit, he has all the bitches stripped down naked in his studio. Who the fuck would want to go on his show? I remember mm -hmm. years ago, somebody said they could get us on the Howard Stern show. Like, why would I want to go on that show? And dirt that shit. Would have been hey, no, there was some Israelites that went on Howard Stern. Stern. Show. You see that video? Some Israelites I went on the show? I don't know. I might have. Oh, he was joking. Nah, that was serious as hell. Yeah, somebody did go on it. Yeah, it was two I Israelites. I think it was on. Years ago, though. Yeah, I think it was on. They, was, they weren't in the truth, though. Nah, not They yeah. was like part of Nate's or, or somebody's yeah, shit. Like, yeah, they was off. Yeah, they it wasn't the ones that Desmond had the truth. Nah, it wasn't no people. GMS. Yeah. They had enough to know that the Israelites. Yeah, that's all. They, they knew that basic shit, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah. Which is enough to cut the world in. Yeah, enough to cut them. <laughs> Holy shit. You know, because when the Comfy went on, was that Jerry Springer or... Yeah, they got in a, almost got in a fight with somebody. The cans, Ku Klux Klan. Yeah, the KKK. Yeah. I mean, they had enough, but two thirds Israelites have got enough fire to cut the world. Right, yeah, yeah. Even when these low level motherfuckers can. I mean, it ain't hard to cut these motherfuckers. It, it, it ain't hard to cut the world. All you gotta do is let them no, speak. Go. Hey, it's, about, it's about to die. Eight minutes. So all you gotta all right. do is let them speak. Let them speak. They cut you wanna hold that? Yeah, let's get some scriptures out. Yeah, get that tripod out. We, uh, oh yeah, I'll get a tripod. You want me to hold well, I mean, I'll just hold this until it dies. Go ahead with y'all. Just bring some scriptures out. I'll hold it. That tripod sounds like too much work. I got to turn, spin the camera and everything. Here you go. Um, this is Jeremiah 
five and one. Run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem and see down and know and seek in the broad places thereof. If you can find a man, if there be any that executed judgment that seeketh the truth, and I will pardon it. <laughs> that sounds like, um, who was it? Genesis, uh, when he's uh, Lot. Yeah. <laughs> you still, Abraham. Yeah. Uh, you don't just, if I can just say 50, end up going down the Oh, road. you're going back to Alex Jones. <laughs> Alex Jones is always saying, America has the chance to repent like Nineveh. <laughs> I've heard him say that a million times. Oh my goodness. You actually think this country's gonna repent? Shit. Nineveh, Shit. You know, when you read that story, let's, oh, well, we ain't gotta get it. Just read the book of Jonah. And Nineveh actually did repent, and they all, you know, rent their garments, put on sackcloth. Yeah, and, the, and the Lord didn't destroy them. Right? And he didn't, he right. saved them for a minute, you know, right. for a while. That's right. Ain't but you, you think these motherfuckers are gonna put on sackcloth and repent? Shh. We get cursed out just trying to give them the truth. Hell yeah, exactly. Curse the fuck out. You gotta be out your mind. This, this country is not repenting. Right. It ain't like we out here spreading our heart, speaking from our hearts. <laughs> we reading scriptures. I want to hear what's in your heart, brother. We get cursed the fuck out. Yeah, I want to hear what's in your heart, guy. <laughs> Give me your heart, man. Can you just put the Bible up and speak for yourselves, like Peraza said? Hey, guys. Put that guys, book away. Yeah. Put it. Close the book. Close the book. Close the book. Close the book. Close and the this book. motherfucker made a video on why we shouldn't be reading the Bible. Man. That's bugged out. You know? Okay. And though they say, the Lord liveth, surely they swear falsely. Yep. O Lord, are not thine eyes upon the truth? Thou hast stricken them, but they have not What the hell they talk about? It's a dude, I think it's a dude with the crutches. Oh, I'm hoping he hit somebody with them motherfuckers. They cussing somebody out. Yeah. Hey, hey, the spirit is around here, man. It's a violent ass city, man. This it is some is. violent shit going on in the city, man. It's just random ass attacks and yep, shit. Yeah. Boy, it, not so random if you know the truth. We need to put himself over here. Yeah, sure did. Yeah. That's that what I was telling him. Somebody, tell, tell the camera. He um, I can just read it. Oh yeah. Let me get it. Let me get it. Dude took I, his. He, well, I think went and, he went and vandalized art and shit, and then took his destroy killed himself. Who cussing out the crowd of white boys? Good. Oh, that right now. That's you, bro. That's you. You sure about that? There's something festering in there. <laughs> something brewing up in there. <laughs> something ain't right. Did, did, did you forget that article he read earlier? Something ain't right. <laughs> With the CDC. He cursed that whole fucking crowd of people out. Check it out. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah, he cursing them out. That's good. Former? That's beautiful. Hey, this shit about to die. I gotta turn this off. You can start with the 